Hey guys, so today I'll be making a video on the top 10 Injustice characters for the mobile game. Keep in mind, this is just my opinion. Other people could have different opinions about their top 10 characters. So, starting at number 10, we have Arkham Origins Batman. His passive is called Invisible Predator and that allows him to start off with two bars of power. Arkham Origins Batman is a great character because starting off with two bars of power it can be a difference maker in any game. It can essentially turn any fight from a 3-on-3 three -three to a 3-on-2 in your favor. Uh, he also has very fast uh, uh, basic attacks, uh, swipe and, uh, and tap attacks, so uh, that makes him very versatile as well. And overall, he, he's, he's just a great character. He has uh, a good attack, a good damage stat, and a good health stat. So overall, Arkham Origins Batman adds stability to any lineup. Coming at number 9, we have Wonder Woman 600. Her passive is called Amazonian Fury, and all female characters get 30% damage and power uh, boosts. That's nothing to laugh at. That makes Wonder Woman 600 a very, very strong character uh, for female teams, as she can literally make any female team uh, much, much stronger than, than they already are. Teaming up with animator Harley Quinn gives the entire team 50% extra damage and power generation. That is absolutely sensational because that can just just absolutely make a team, in, make any team into a tier one team essentially. And her first special shield toss is also very strong. That makes Wonder Woman nine hundred come in at number nine. Um, coming at number eight, we have none other than Apocalypse Darkseid. Now Apocalypse Darkseid is a new character that's recently been released, and his passive is called Black Racer, which is whenever he uh, uses his basic combo, he has a chance of summoning. The Black Racer who causes random unique effects. These effects range from bleeding, uh, life drain, which drains 5,000 uh, of the opponent's health, which is very blue, very big, or uh, it causes the effect of cursed. The effect of cursed means dark sides uh, unblockable basic unblock basic attacks or special attacks will automatically go critical, uh, land a critical hit. That that that's that's uh, a very uh, strong uh, passive because that means that his unblocked first or second special will go critical and that means um, it can do uh, large amounts of damage to the opponent's team and his first special remember is uh, a multi-hit special so it can potentially knock out uh, any character with a single hit. Coming in at number 7 we have Cassandra King Batgirl. Her passive is called Assassin's Ambush and basically when she tags in she causes the opponent to lose 25% of their current health. On top of all that, Cassandra Kane Batgirl is incredibly fast. Her basic attacks are incredibly fast. They have good range. On top of all that, her combo ender uh, consists of two strikes. That makes her uh, perfect for ratio goal skim tar because she can uh, keep power draining characters all day. Furthermore, her first and second special are very, very destructive. Cassandra King Batgirl, um, uh, if she's facing a character uh, that has 100k health, by tagging in, she causes that character to lose 25% uh, of their health, 25k health, without even landing a single basic attack. That's why Cassandra King uh, Batgirl is coming in at number 7 in our list. Coming in at number 6, we have Blackest Night Martian Manhunter. He's another new character that's recently been released by Injustice, and like Cassandra King Batgirl, his combo ender consists of two strikes which makes him ideal for ratio goal skim tar. His passive is called shifter and that means that as he's fighting he'll shift through uh, a different offen offensive buffs. These include life drain which means uh, uh, he will uh, uh, gain equivalent health to damage that he dishes out and and that is spread through the entire team. So that means if, he, if his buff is on life drain and you use his uh, super move or his special move he can potentially heal your team. It's the amount of damage. So his his super move could potentially uh, heal your entire team back to their full health. That that makes Marsh Manhunter a great uh, health booster for any team. Uh, he also has increased power generation, uh, which is uh, shown by yellow uh, yellow like a yellow aura around him, and that gives him twenty five percent power generation increase, which can help him uh, power up his way to his uh, devastating second special. And he has increased defense, which means he reduces all opponents' incoming damage by fifty percent and if you block while he's on defense, the opponent's damage will be reduced to only 25%. That means uh, a lot of their damage will just be nullified. That makes Mushroom, uh, Blackest and Marshman Hunter come in at number 6 on our list. 
Uh, moving on, coming at number 5, we have Raven. Her passive Demonic Rage activates when Raven's also below 20% and she swaps health with her opponent. Raven is one of the most influential characters in the game. The reason she comes at number 5 is because she forces opponents to change their entire strategy. She also uh, has a very high uh, damage stat. When she's fully maxed out, her damage stat reaches 41k. Uh, th that puts her on par with uh, a Dark Side and many of the strong characters. Furthermore, uh, Raven forces opponents uh, to, to just rethink their strategy when they're fighting her. They don't want to use a multi-hit second special because that could potentially force Raven uh, Raven's passive, which will, which will make, uh, make, make them swap health and uh, put your opponent on the back foot. Uh, Raven also uh, is perfect for ratio goal Skimtar because she her combo engine consists of two strikes, so she can power drain all day long while uh, uh, making sure that she powers up to her uh, very strong second or first special. Coming in at number four, we have the unrivaled might of Shazam, and the idea behind Shazam is to power him up and say the magic word or use his super move, and then he goes. Absolutely insane. His passive is called Lightning Fury. And upon super attack activation, Shazam deals 300% more basic damage and takes 50% less damage and can perform special attacks without using any power for 12 seconds. That means you can spam his second special all day long and Shazam will continuously be uh, hammering his opponents with, uh, with his Lightning Fury. And uh, although Shazam may have slow basic attacks, he is still one of the strongest characters in the game. Very sturdy. Very, very sturdy uh, uh, health, health stat. 98k is one of the highest health stats in the entire game. And his damage stat is also very high. 37k. That makes Shazam a well, a well balanced character overall. Coming in at number 3, we have Killer Frost Prime. Her passive is called Best, Best Serve Cold and damage all opponents' power generation by 50%. Now, I just want to say that third place is a tie. Um, she's also perfect for ratio with Skimtar. Because her combo ender also consists of two strikes, which means you can power dra power drain all day long. Her first special is very strong. She freezes her opponents and slows them down by fifty percent, and that means uh, she can uh, continue uh, using her basic attacks at her slowed enemy while she powers up for another special one. Furthermore, to add to that, Killer Frost's second special is unblockable, and it's not a weak second special. It's a very very strong second special that can really hurt the opponent. So, and Killer Frost uh, also, da the, the fact that she dampens opponent's power generation makes opponents rethink their strategy. They might anticipate facing Killer Frost, so they might, you know, add gears that increase power, and these gears could replace gears that they might need, like uh, like damage gears. So, Killer Frost is a very influential character and forces opponents to change their entire strategy. So, uh, the third place that Killer Frost Prime tied with was Regime Killer Frost. Regime Killer Frost passive is that uh, it's called Polar Vortex, and she surrounds her opponent's bitter cold, reducing all healing effects by 90%. And when she uses her special attack, the opponent's power generation and speed are reduced by 50%. This is very good because the new new Genesis gears are based on health. They're they're based on 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 a five second constant health regeneration once a character uses their uh, special moves. And Killer Frost can crush this. She she can she can make those gears absolutely useless because. By slowing down health effects or healing effects by 90%, th those gears are redundant. They, you, don't, you don't need to use those gears. Any, those gears won't make a big difference to the opponent's team. She's crucial. She's a very influential character. She has changed the entire way the game is played. When you're facing her, you guys uh, should make sure that uh, you have a game plan in set for her. She also has very uh, high stats and uh, high health as well. Makes Killer Frost a uh, regime a very strong character. Coming in at number 2, we have none other than Justice League Wonder Woman. Her passive is called Justice League Fury and activates whenever she uses a uh, special attack or super move. And her Justice League teammates, including Superman, Batman, Flash, Green Lantern, Aquaman, Martian Lantern, Cyborg, or Wonder Woman, receive power. Now this is amazing because Justice League Wonder Woman has one of the, when she's fully maxed out, she has one of the highest damage stats in the entire game. Teaming her up with Wonder Woman 600 and anime Harley Quinn can make her damage stat off the charts. When she's fully maxed out, her damage set is 50k, and teaming up, and, and the 50% extra you get from uh, Wonder Woman 600 and Animated Harley Quinn means her damage set will be at 75k, making Justice uh, League Wonder Woman very strong. Furthermore, uh, because her first special forces uh, forces her teammates to gain extra bar of power, and she, al she already has to, f she already, 
she she would have uh, extra power generation if you team her up with Wonder Woman 600. That means you'll be spamming shield tosses all day long. First from Justice League Wonder Woman, then she tags out Wonder Woman 600 using her shield tosses. All day long shield toss spam. Uh, massive uh, damage that makes Justice League Wonder Woman a top character, and that's why she's number two on the list. And number one on our list is none other than the legendary Arkham Knight Batman. Now, Arkham Knight Batman is probably uh, the most versatile character uh, at, to ever be released by Injustice so far, and he's also probably uh, a character that suits any teams. His passive is called Wayne Tech, and whenever Bruce first engages an enemy, he activates two Wayne Tech boosts of his choosing. Keep in mind that his passive does include Invisible Predator from Arkham Origins Batman. That means he, he can get the same two bars of power at the beginning of every game. He also, uh, his, his, uh, his uh, boosts also include immunity to power drain, immunity to critical attacks, immunity to damage over time, uh, boosting his own critical uh, uh, damage, or uh, boosting his special one. All these things make Arkham Knight Batman uh, very versatile, and he can adapt to any situation. If you're facing power drainers, tag him out, tag him back, and make sure that he's immune to power drain. Make sure you pick that option. If you're facing uh, a damage over time team like Mortal 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 Kombat Scorpion X, uh, make him Im- immune to damage over time. It- it'll bypass any conditions the opposite team has. Arkham Knight Batman uh, is is insane. His his second special does 94k damage. That is comparable with every second special, although. His second special is not unblockable. Furthermore, our, our Arkham Knight Batman also has very high reliable stats when he's fully maxed out. And overall, he's, he's just a great character to have on any team. And uh, that's basically it. That's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.